Welcome to the second video in the node math series or the math node. And today we're going to be looking at power logarithm square root in absolute. So what the power does, it's not immediately that obvious when you just look at it here. So I've prepared something on decimals. So what we're doing is we're taking the first value and raising it to the second value. So this is will be a constant. And this constant, I've named it A, and the X is the one that's changing. And I've shown you what happens if X is between 0 and 1. So as you can see, when I change this second value, X stays, uh, the values stay between 0 and 1, as long as A is between 0 and uh, infinity. And what is happening is the way it goes from 0 to 1 changes, so the interpolation changes. And at a is equal to zero, everything is just one. So this is really useful if you want um, a smoother interpolation or something that takes a bit longer. And the next one is the logarithm. So the logarithm is not used that often, but sometimes it's useful for formulas. And as long as the values are between 0 and 1, it will act almost like the inverse of the power, but once it's above, you'll get negative values. And I can show you. So here we get all negative values, but once we go between 0 and 1, it's a bit like the inverse of the power. It is actually the inverse of the power, but then we'd have to switch the a and x to make it a to the x and then this will be the exact inverse and finally the square root what it does it just raises the first uh, the incoming value to the power 0 0.5 so square root does exactly the same thing as power and then 0 0.5 as you can see if I change it nothing changes here and the absolute value is the most useful one I I think personally so let's make a bit more room right, right now it doesn't seem to be doing much but what the absolute value does it makes sure that whatever X is it will always be positive so if it's 9 minus 5 it will become plus 5 but since these values are still between 0 and 1 we don't see anything happening but I can change it, for example, to object coordinates. And now you can see that these values would normally, if I mute the absolute value, this is negative and this is positive. But with the absolute value, we get positive things on both sides. And this way we can have a mirror. So we can do the same thing with the Y or the Z if you want, which in this case is not very useful. So let's leave it at X. And this way we can create some symmetric shapes easily. For example, if you want to create a heart, you can add an ellipse on this side and then it will automatically be mirrored on the other side and that's how you make a heart easily. So thanks for watching.